promiscuous My style is ridiculous No, 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 no. Exactly. Here's my 10 skincare tips I wish I knew earlier. Double cleansing every night, even when I don't wear makeup, it helps remove excess oil and sebum from my skin to prevent clogged pores. Not using chemical exfoliants daily, this has the potential to damage your moisture barrier. Knowing what my skin concerns and what my skin type is, not everyone has the same skin, so always listen to yours. Wearing sunscreen every day, even if I'm indoors, it not only helps with your wrinkles, but it also helps with your dark spots. Keeping my barrier maintenance as my sole focus for my skincare routine, stronger barrier helps prevent less skin problems in the future. Keeping my routine consistent and not swapping out my products often just because something's stronger or it stings doesn't mean it's going to give you quicker results hello of course you don't want to pop your pimples they're going to leave scarring it's going to leave inflammation give you more bacteria it just it's a mess scrubs don't remove skin texture i don't know how many times i have to say this Not everything that everybody likes is going to work for you just because it's popular on instagram or tiktok doesn't mean that it's going to immediately help you with your acne do your research Use this, not that, skincare edition. If you have this, use that, and definitely not this. If you have this, use that, and definitely not this. If you have this, use that, and absolutely not these. Stop cleansing your face like this. Most people take their gel cleanser and turn it into basically what is soapy water, keep it on their face for 10 seconds and then rinse it off. I don't want to be rude, but you are probably going to bed with a dirty face. What you need to do is learn how to properly emulsify your cleanser. Take your favorite gel cleanser into wet hands and do these circular motions for at least 20 seconds until it turns into a thick, thick foam that's almost like a cream. Then apply this onto your wet face and cleanse for at least 60 seconds. Three girl tips I wish I would've known sooner. Oiling your belly button with any kind of coconut oil or body oil really does help out with dry skin, helps fertility, and also helps with menstrual cramps. This shit feels disgusting. If you suffer with dark circles under your eye, use coffee beans to really brighten the area. I can't see. And if you run out of your favorite facial cleanser, don't worry, just use Dawn dish soap. It works the same way as facial cleanser, just make sure you hurry up and do your skincare right after so you don't dry your fucking skin out. Beauty tips that few beauticians don't know. Yellow teeth will turn white with strawberry brushing. Matte lipstick dries out lips. Apply aloe vera gel to moisturize. Too much hair on the body, mix coffee, toothpaste, lemon juice, apply. You have smooth skin. Paint your hands on the plastic sheet. Then paint your nails, after cutting. Apply nail polish, after drying you have new nails. Squeeze the toothpaste onto the oiled paper. Sprinkle with baking soda, spread evenly. Put it on the teeth, teeth will whiten. If you like it, remember to share it with your friends. hygiene routine today. Okay, first, to get this out of the way, there are tons of things that can contribute to you having bad breath. You could have dry mouth, it could be something that you're eating, you could be dehydrated, there are tons of things. So if you do this stuff and you take care of your teeth and your mouth and everything, but you still have bad breath, it's time to identify what else you're doing in your life that is causing that. 
Okay, first things first, I use a manual toothbrush. It's not for everybody. I have tried like super high end like electric toothbrushes, but I just for some reason prefer to use one of these. That does mean that I end up brushing my teeth like longer and like a bit more excessively, but yeah. Also, an electric toothbrush does not just mean that you just get to go mm, and done just because it's vibrating, okay? You still have to put in the work. You can't just rely on it to do all the work for you. I like this one because it has a huge like brush head. This is new brush head, so don't even say anything. It has a big brush head, so when you're brushing, it's getting your gums too. It's not just getting the tooth, it's like getting everything at once. I really like it. I'll try to link it for you. I get it at PCC, but I don't think anybody else has that. This is my baby. I love this toothpaste with my whole soul. This is the Hello Anti-Plaque Whitening Toothpaste. This, this one is in natural peppermint and it has tea tree and coconut oil. This makes my teeth feel so incredibly fresh. It's like insane. This one does not have fluoride in it. And I know that people are gonna come and they're gonna say that you need a fluoride toothpaste. If you want a fluoride toothpaste, use a fluoride toothpaste, honey. Anyway, this is my favorite toothpaste. You guys always ask, this one. White bottle, blue writing. And you guys, I use a little water flosser. You guys actually put me onto this. You guys told me to get one. And this makes your teeth feel like unreasonably clean. Like there's, it's just so clean. Your teeth are so clean after using this. This is also gonna help you prevent gum disease because it's just gonna clear out any of the bacteria that's sitting underneath your gums. Then you must always use a tongue scraper. You must always use a tongue scraper, okay? This is what's gonna help you get rid of that bad breast smell and that lingering bacteria that's gonna sit on your tongue. After the tongue scraper, you need this mouthwash. I've already talked about it a bunch, but it's a fair breath mouthwash. You're gonna have to just come back for part two, okay? Girls, I'm about to let you in on a few dream girl hacks that will literally change the way that you get ready for the rest of your life. Over a million people are already going insane over the premise that I stated in my past dream girl hacks videos. I basically stated that girls that look like this, 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 and this, yeah, dream girls. These girls take just as much time in the day to get ready as you do. They just do different things to elevate their look in just as much time. One hack that they use is called micro highlighting. Go in with your blush and bronzer. Now we're gonna follow this mouth. Finish off with the top of the eyebrow. Right now you're gonna wanna put a line here, here, and here. You wanna make sure that the lines are parallel to each other and that the tip of your nose matches the tip of your eyebrow and eyelash. Look how much structure that this side has compared to this side where everything is kind of just blah. You see the difference? Go try this out immediately. Six secret makeup hacks. If you don't have a beauty blender, opt for a microfiber sock instead. Using the end of the sock, apply your normal foundation. The plush texture will blend and smooth foundation on like a charm. Create a quick eyebrow stamp by using the ends of your tweezers and your brow pomade. Outline your brows with the tweezers. Use a spoolie to fluff them up for a super full, beautiful brows. For super thick lashes, fluff them up first with translucent powder. The powder helps grit the mascara to your lashes, making them super full and voluminous. Here's with and without the powder. For an easy, smoky eye look, grab your favorite eyeliner. And draw a hashtag on your lids, then blend it in with a brush. Blend away till you get that super chic, smoky eye look. For an easy contouring hack, cut up your beauty blender into fourths. Pat it down with your contouring powder or cream. Stamp it on your face and blend in for some super sculpted cheekbones. And if you ever struggle big time getting the last bit of your product out, snip off the end of the tube to make sure you're getting every last drop.
girls, if you are ever in an emergency and you need to look hot in less than five minutes, I'm about to transform your I just woke up look to a I'm about to walk down the runway look. Literally doing this right now because I have five minutes to get ready. Kosas Glow IV carry it around in my purse because you never know when you're gonna need a glow i guess will make your skin glimmer and glow and radiate like no other i always have a full coverage concealer to spot correct because we don't have time to be doing a full face of makeup we're already getting that like tasseled model off duty look this is a key to radiating and it's a two in one as you can see blend this out look at I always have a lip liner that I keep with me in my bag. This one is Milani. It's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's literally $4. So now if you're ever in a makeup emergency, you know what to do. You can transform your skin from looking like this to looking like this by just changing the way you wash your face. Some water and your cleanser into a container and then use a the makeup brush. To make a lot of bubble like you need to wash your face two times and this is the first time use your brush to brush cycle on those t area where you have the most oil after 30 seconds bring it all on your face and then wash away the cleanser For second step you cannot wash your face in circle instead use a press on method remember to use this press on method on each of the oily area on your face like your forehead and your chin after that wash your face again and off and there we go I don't know who needs to hear this, but the secret to getting rid of body odour isn't deodorant. You know when people say, this beauty hack is going to change your life? Well, this beauty hack actually is going to change your life. Use a benzoyl peroxide cleanser on your armpits. So leave on for like a minute and wash off as normal. What this does is get rid of the bad bacteria. So basically sweat is odourless. So your sweat doesn't smell, it's the bacteria that causes it to smell. This gets rid of the bacteria. You won't need to use deodorant. Thank me later. Beauty secrets I learned from Japan, part one. Japanese women prioritize enhancing your natural beauty rather than trying to change it, which if you look at American beauty culture, a lot of it is about contouring, trying to change your, your features, trying to like put really heavy mascara or false eyelashes. And they're actually even more natural than Korean beauty culture, which, you know, has some sometimes some falsies, usually mascara or eyeliner. They don't even put on eyeliner and mascara. It's like so natural to a point where it's like light coverage, clear mascara, one layer of eyeshadow, light brow powder, maybe a little lip balm, maybe a little tint, and that's it. What they do prioritize is hair care. So they spend every two weeks at a hair salon to treat their hair, get it cut nice, and they tend to keep it short because of so. How they maintain their skin is that they regularly go to the laser to get laser at a dermatologist's office, and apparently it's so affordable that they go like regularly, like sometimes once a month, two times a month, if not more. And the really, really wealthy to do women they can go every day and that is not extremely rare for you know celebrities or anything like that and with the lasers when i was talking with beauty consultants when i was buying you know different things they were telling me that fraxels were really popular and you would often see them recovering with grids on their face but also that they got like hormone treatments you know to help balance out their hormones because apparently if you have skin issues there's a hormonal imbalance and it's like very normal for them to go to a doctor for hormonal treatment which i was really surprised by another thing is that they really watch what they eat they will eat steamed vegetables with a little bit of salt if salt at all and you will rarely catch a japanese woman alone at a ramen shop and this is all what the beauty consultants told me by the way they will eat really healthy and lightly steamed again, and that's why they really get like problems with their skin. And Japanese women had the best skin I've seen by far, like of any country I've traveled to, even Korea. Their skin is just like, you can tell, it doesn't really have much problems because they don't even put that much coverage, first of all. And second of all, it's like during the day, you can see, right? They're like blemish free, like their skin is like wrinkle free, like it's like really, really youthful. And because of their diet, because of the laser treatments they go to get often, especially Fraxel, because of their products, they like to buy really high quality products. 
they just look really put together and just look really healthy like, like like youthful health is like kind of the goal here i'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying this but japanese beauty products are the best like better than korean and i'm gonna explain why in part two